my first kids, Perry. I just want to tell you how much Miss Rhonda has missed you. I miss seeing each one of you. You're so precious to me. I miss your hugs. I miss your smiles. I miss hearing you laugh and giggle. I miss hearing all the sweet, precious stories that you share with me. And for now, we can't meet here at the church. And so since we can't, I thought I would share some things with you as we're going into Easter weekend. I'm going to I'm going to summarize um, Matthew 28 and talk uh, a little bit about Jesus being buried and Jesus being resurrected, which means coming back to life. So on Friday before Easter, Jesus did die on the cross for our sins because of his great love for us. The Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever would believe in him would not perish but have everlasting life. So he went willingly to the cross and died because of his great love for us. But three days later, Jesus rose again, meaning he came back to life again. And on Sunday morning, Mary and Mary Magdalene went to the tomb where he was buried. The tomb was kind of like a rock cave and it was sealed with a huge rock in front of it where nobody could get inside. And they even brought two guards to guard in front of that. But early Sunday morning, Mary and Mary Magdalene went to the tomb to be by where Jesus was. And so as they were sitting there, there was a great earthquake that shook the ground, shook everything around them, and an angel appeared during that and rolled the stone away from the tomb. And Mary and Mary Magdalene were able to see that Jesus was no longer in the tomb. And they looked kind of concerned. They were probably wondering, did somebody take the body? Where is Jesus? And the angel said, don't be afraid. He's not here. He's alive. He's alive. And so the angel told them, go quickly and tell the others that Jesus is alive. And so they quickly went off. They were obedient to go off and they quickly went off. As they were on their way, Jesus appeared to them and Jesus was right there in front of them and they bowed down and they worshiped him. And then Jesus told them not to be afraid. And he said, go tell the disciples to go to Galilee and meet me there. There they will see me. And so that's exactly what Jesus did. He went to Galilee and the disciples were able to see him. And, and other people saw Jesus too during this time. And so really we're celebrating the fact that Jesus is alive. Jesus is not dead. He's alive. And this, this Easter Sunday, I want you to remember that that he is alive and he wants to have a relationship with us. You have a blessed Easter with your family. Miss Rhonda loves you.